So we're here at Chop Burritos getting some sushi burritos. So um, uh, I'm getting, uh, my sister's getting a Long Beach. I'm getting the, the Mission. So yeah, so this is like here getting sushi, but in like burrito form. So here we go. Uh, let me see if I can get it. Somethings, and so also I add a little sauce, soy sauce to my burrito. So let's try it. That really adds the flavor to it. Oh, I'm busy. So, how is it? It's very good. So 
the red velvet was good. Now let's do the birthday cake. You can actually see the uh, cake mixture in this one. I was chewing uh, when I was talking with my mouth open or wasn't chewing with my mouth open pretty properly but I wanted to express what I was feeling of the cupcakes as I was taste testing it so we're just gonna go get our stuff at the hotel and we're back on our way to our homes this is a good angle yeah going back home yeah. what a great weekend happy yeah. birthday Thanks. yeah so both of us are from New York, but my sister moved to California. Uh, to, she's an animal enthusiast, and she's working on um, what, what training dolphins. Training dolphins. That's, For the Navy. Yep. And um, right now, I'm just doing what I need to do back in New York until I'm ready to move on with my own career. I'm pursuing my dreams as a monster jam or a monster truck driver, which is actually what I want to start with until I'm promoted over there. So what I'm doing right now is that I'm pursuing a job as a mechanic, and I'm just earning some money right now. And, um, wait, hold on. My sister thought we were being followed by someone, but yeah. Um, so we're going to get our stuff, and then we're back at the airport, so we'll be back in a minute. So we have all of our luggage. We're about to head over to the airport. I also want to confirm to you guys that Sarah is not my girlfriend. She's my sister. And that's all I'll say for the moment on that. So, I know what some of you might be asking now. Will I be coming back next year? It, it's not confirmed. We, ha me, me and Sarah have been talking about it, and we hope so. But we're not going to have anything confirmed until later in the year or if we have anything else worked out. Hey, do you have Uber yet? I do, but I haven't tried it yet. But you downloaded it? I did. Can I see? Alright. Hold on. I have to put in my code. Alright. So, we went to Circus Circus. I didn't get any footage from there because they did, they said no um, audio devices on any of the rides or anything, so I put it in the locker. But what we did is that we went on a couple of the roller coasters, which were pretty cool. Wasn't sure about it. I wasn't really too afraid of roller coasters. I wasn't. I was just like um, I did go on one like that before, but I haven't done it in like years. But it was pretty fun. We went on the we went to the SpongeBob 3D ride. Didn't go as we thought it would because midway through it, it stopped because the glasses weren't working. So they were gonna be uh, running again in 25 minutes, and we didn't have the time. And then we left, and we also did like a Batman laser thing where we were uh, avoid the lasers as Batman, and as a Joker, we had to break the lasers. And um, we tried. We want, I wanted to do Laser Runner. Yeah, I wanted to do Laser Runner, but it was Laser Tag overall. And we did a little mini golf. So we pretty much had a good day together. So see you all at the airport. We're waiting for an Uber right now. False alarm, I got the wrong flight. I'm out here at 
Newark and the next flight is just not here yet so we don't uh, board for another half hour. outside my window. This whole thing took me these months because it was in place. It has been hard. Every time I uh, every time I leave it, it makes me feel hard depressed. I'm still feeling heartbroken right now but I'm trying to see some of these back on when we take off and then I'll feel no more seen and I'm probably going to sleep the night over on this plane even though it could be three hours so I just landed at Newark Airport. I did not get the proper landing footage because, well, 
I was asleep and like the landing impact woke me up, but it was okay. A lot of people shot landings at Newark Airport, but yes, yeah, so we. So I did not get the proper footage, and I'm sorry, but that's okay. It, you know, it's a thing that just happens very often with YouTubers catching their flights landing at airports. So I'm not going to get picked up and head back to my house. So it's six o'clock. I got home at eight forty-five or some a.m. I had to take a nap. I took a nap. I took a shower after I woke up. I feel like and still feel like I'm under a dark thunderous cloud because of my departure from the city that I had a passion visiting since 2005, since I was eight years old. <laughs> it also pains me for my parents to keep sending me after what they have to pay for to send me over there every single year, even if it's just for once, once a year or something. This is also one of the reasons, I might have said this before, but I just don't remember, but this is one of the reasons why I want to move over there. Even if I'm achieving my dream of becoming a monster truck driver. <sighs> this cloud I'm under will eventually fade. I'll be okay for sure, but right now I just can't even bear to deal with the facts that I have to be here. Even if it's worth, even if even if it means spending time with my mom, my dad, and even what I have over here that I have to do. <sighs> no words can be found from my mouth, but truly from my heart. That's just hard to express <sighs> the other thing is is that by the time this is up you're probably watching the world finals coverage that I have right now I just feel like that even though I did the best that I could I just felt like I didn't get the best footage I could shoot, but I did what I could do. It's also that some of the footage had some of the people in the background, I don't know, just making noise, talking a little too loud, even though that's a, not really too much, but even if, but I just feel like that, like whatever what we hear on the video board, it's just, or from the microphones or speakers, whatever you could say. It's hard to hear what or understand what they say. And when whatever happens in life, there's no rewind button. There's no going back. I'm going to have to shut this off right now. And heal a little bit. I'm probably not going to make another vlog for about another couple weeks until after I feel like I'm all past it all past all these feelings so but in the meantime I hope you enjoyed this vlog I know it might have not been the best or the longest but I shot what I could so in the meantime I hope you can follow me on social media like this video leave a comment subscribe and you know all this stuff and I wish you all a very great day and very, well, very nice 
what you do out there. I hope you guys try not to be emotional, even if it, even if you're leaving the country, well, state that you love, even if it means that your family lives over here and you're living somewhere else. Try not to express too much of what I had, of what I felt. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless.